Hi, um, my name is Evelyn Vanderhoop and I have been on a raw diet for almost three months and I've really been enjoying um, it. I have, I'm happier, I have more energy, um, I've just been eating a lot of smoothies and salads and um, juices, I have a juicer and, and I've been dehydrating crackers and I've just been having lots of fun getting used to um, the different kind of recipes and the different uses of nuts and how you soak grains in nuts and seeds and I'm just learning a lot. I've also nutrition. been using things on my face that you can eat. So um, in my internet searches I've seen a lot of different raw vegetarian um, websites and <clears throat> one particular website had a young lady who um, was using beet juice for blush and blackberry for um, mascara and the different things and so it made me start thinking about what I put on well, my face. Everything that I put on my skin I want to make sure it's it's um, edible and healthy because I know that our skin is one of the biggest organs and we're taking a lot of different environmental junk in all, in all around us and if I'm being really conscious about washing my vegetables and making sure that what I eat is healthy then my biggest organ deserves the same respect. I am now um, mixing my own makeup so I have I have some things here and I'm going to show you what I usually do with I have an makeup. aloe vera 99% gel that I put on my face as soon as I was through um, showering or washing up and now I'm going to put a coffee coffee infused um, coconut oil on my face I'm putting it kind of one half on so you can see that it adds moisturizer and it adds a little color and this particular mix that I'm putting on just has the condensed coffee and you can see it's it's a bit shiny so you have to let it sit for a while and I have other ways to deal with the shine so she the the young lady that I saw in the internet um, had beet juice so I've got um, a little bit of beet juice for for my blush and I just juiced a beet and put it in a in a clean container and it it kind of developed its own like gel eventually so it must have some kind of um, pectin or, or something in it so so I put some of this in the balls of, or the apples of my cheeks to add a little color And to replicate a little sun kissed, I'll put it on my nose and my chin. So now I've added a little bit of color, but I always like to brighten up under my eyes because um, sometimes you're not getting as much sleep as you should. So this is the same thing. It it's a mix well it's a mixture of shea butter I melted shea butter I put a little bit of um, coconut oil and then a little bit of that coconut cream and plus a little coffee a little mix of the beet juice and even a little carrot juice I think just to tone it down um, and make it a little bit yellow because sometimes a yellow tinge Will counteract any um, 
tired eye, kind of a purple, purpley, tired eye kind of stuff. And as you can see, this stuff really does have a lot of shine. But that's what you have. So because I want to sit and let that stuff soak in and so it doesn't shine, I'm going to now work on my eyes. Now I like to use the brow bone, uh, highlight the brow bone, and use a chalk that I found in um, the Baja. So you can't really eat chalk, but at least it's natural. Okay, and so I've got a little highlight on my brow. What I'm going bone. to put on my eyelid is cocoa powder. So so it's going to put some brown on on the top of my eyelids. So there. I'll leave that open because I'm going to use it later. Now, the lady that I saw on the internet was very fair and she used um, blackberry juice for her eyelash eyelashes. And I'm going to use just condensed coffee. I have regular coffee and it just um, um, condenses down into kind of like a syrup. Put an eyeliner on my eyes. So I'm going to turn this off because I'm going to have to get close to the mirror. So I've highlighted my eye eyeliner and now with that same brush I'm going to um, put some some emphasis on my eyebrow. Okay, and with that same um, a brush coffee. for my eyelashes, I'm going to um, just add a little bit of coffee to my eyelashes. So, there you are. Now, I am now going to add that same mixture of um, cocoa powder. Well, it's carob, raw carob powder with um, arrowroot, arrowroot flour. So, and I just put it on the big fat blush brush and there you go um, I and for some lipstick it's the same thing it would be um, beet juice and if you want to tone down the beet juice if it's too pinky pink for you you can add some um, carrot juice. But the thing with this makeup is you have to make it up once a week because it's made out of real food and um, and as you know real food rots. So once a week I set up a day my day is Saturday Here's my day makeup, and I'm going to turn this off, and I'm going to add a little bit more pizzazz, and it's still going to be makeup that I made or got at the health food store for I evening. think that's it. Okay. This is me with a um, hundred, well, 99% um, edible makeup.
60 years old this year and I intend to keep on putting only things I can eat in on my skin and and eat a fresh vegetable, fresh fruit, um, soaked grains, nuts and seeds, and um, have fun with it. Be ha happy and healthy. I encourage you to start thinking about the things that you put on your skin. Because now as, it, as, as our population is getting older, um, I think it's more and more important to be conscious of that because we've had a lifetime of our immune system fighting off all of this environmental um, dangerous substances and our immune system is getting weaker as we get older and we really need to be conscious of um, being better at keeping dangerous things out of our body so that our liver and our kidneys and um, our skin, the most, the eliminating and purifying organs of our body aren't overtaxed and, um, and with imbalance and, um, it comes disease. And so to help us be a healthier, older population, I think it's important to pay attention and, and it will make you happy and healthy. Thanks.